guys, it's Chaos Maelstrom here! And Camp Bark Fire 4. Yeah, the mic's over here. Yeah, I realized that it went way too far. <laughs> Alright, and welcome back to more Disgaea Hour of Darkness. Last time we started our trek down the thro the Throsen River. The Throsen River? <laughs> yeah, wonderful. And we met up with uh Juan, what's her face, okay? And now we're before we start the next episode, I'm going to Oh, you know what? I'm not even sure if I'll have enough uh Hold on a sec. Alright, we don't have enough to do exactly what I planned on doing, but in the meantime, I suppose we could do something. Uh, Mitch has actually gained a lot of mana, so I'm gonna have him create a new character for us. Now, what is that character, you might ask? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the worst class in the game! The thief! Yes, that's right. Here is the thief class. This is the absolute worst class in the game, because... Well, let's go ahead and give him a name. I'm going to go with Charlie, after another one of my past friends of the ages. That's right, I actually did used to have friends! Oh, I can see him now! No, you can't. We don't- no, right there on the Oh, right, because <laughs> there's a picture of me, Cameron, and Charlie. Well, well now- Chibi Sean and Chibi Cameron. Now, Charlie, look, at, look at those stats. Those stats stuck. Those stats stuck? Those stats stuck. I can't talk today! <laughs> you wanna have at least a good hit ratio on the thief? Now, look at this mastery! The mastery is the absolute worst! That is... Pardon my French, that is absolute shit right there! This, this is why this character is the worst in the game. But, if you're asking, if it's so bad, why are you making one? Well, I'll tell you. You notice how I've gotten, like, items called stealing hands? That's because thieves are actually really good at stealing items from enemies. Really? Thieves are good at stealing? Yes, with any other character, you wouldn't be able to steal a thing without at least... The highest percentage of chance you can get of stealing an item from an enemy is 50%, but with the thieves, you can reach up to 100. 100? Yeah, and you can also steal stats from them, which is cool. But that's all I really have time to do right now. Um, so I'm going to equip my thief, Charlie, with... I do have one, right? Model 24, this is a gun. Uh, we have not gotten to guns yet. Guns have the longest range of any weapons unless you're using, uh, spells. Which have infinitely longer range, depending on the level of the spell. And your mastery with a staff if you're holding one. This is gonna be the only game where Charlie doesn't have, a, doesn't have an axe, isn't it? Yes, because... The thief... The thief class... Believe it or not, this was actually the only game the Thief class like this appeared in. Because it sucked that bad. So after this, they, cha they changed its gender. Yeah, and, and the, the Thief class in the uh, games past there are actually very good. I mean, it, v very, very good. So, alright, we're gonna go ahead and shut me up and get into the next area of the Frozen River. So, let's start this stage of Icy Breath. What? She's the assassin? I was expecting somebody a little more menacing. Oh well. Just shut up and capture her! Aye aye, dude! Prima Pretty Prepanica! Mighty Warriors, protect me! Angelic language? Prince, she must be from Celestia. Makes no difference to me. Angel or God, anyone who opposes me will suffer a terrifying death. <laughs> Say your prayers. Please don't push yourselves too hard. You guys can run if it gets dangerous. Don't let her escape. We'll teach her a lesson.
Well, okay, well, there was a reason that scene wasn't narrated, but we won't be worrying that until much, much later. Okay, enough of that. We have zombies, and lots of them, as you can see. Oh, God, The Walking Dead! So, I'm going to start this off by, uh, word of advice. All enemies on the Frozen River will have a weakness to fire, no matter what they are. So, Laharl's Blazing Knuckle! OP here. Oh, here As you can see. And Laharl even level up for that. Okay, well, now... Didn't kill four people at once. That was only three. I was looking down. Alright, well, we still have six more enemies left, so... I'll send Laharl forward the way he's still going. I'll move other people this way. And Galaxia, even though she's still not doing much, I will go ahead and dispatch her. I will send you on your own merry way. And these two I will send this way. That's a lot of that's one of my gripes with this game. Movement. It takes forever to get anywhere. Camera refuses to acknowledge this person as Edna because she's not voiced by Michelle Ruff. I love Michelle Ruff! <laughs> and to be fair, Michelle Ruff is the voice actress we're more used to hearing voice Edna, so... And she's also, um, Rukia and Luna. Yes, yes. Huh? And... Oh, did... Oh, man! Galaxia actually got a nice kill off of that! But the thing is, that zombie is probably going to target her, so I'm going to act as a roadblock for it. And... Now, I will send Mitch off on his own merry way this way. I can't with sending him by himself. You just want him to uh, die. No, you're going with him. I don't want to die with him! And you're going with her. And she's going with you, too. Oh, okay. Well, well, Hulk can handle everything on this map by himself if he wanted to. Well, obviously. Well, he's the great and powerful Laharl. Yes! All will tremble before the majesty that is the great and powerful Laharl! <laughs> that is my, uh, Laharl impression when I'm actually not trying to professionally voice act. And, oh, for a minute I just thought he complete, they were completely ignoring Laharl, which was going to right around following the other enemies, but no. Nobody ignores Laharl! Well, almost nobody. But then again, I can't think of anybody off the top of my head who would be ignoring him. But I wasn't listening. Ah, uh -huh, very funny, because I was talking about ignoring him. I tried. Okay, Galaxia probably won't be able to get an uh, attack off of him, but... We'll try, we'll try. And in the meantime, I will send you guys to go and take care of... These monster zombie guys. Wonderful choice of commentary, me. You're welcome, you. Alright, and this should take care of all the enemies on screen. Wait, I didn't attack that thing, did I? I, I don't think I did, uh, actually. No, so. Alright, that worked out much better than planned. And, ooh, maybe if I'm really lucky, I could actually get a four-hit combo off on Or a two-hit! <laughs> what? I'm not that selfish! You said he finished it, but he's still alive. Ugh. And I think we're... Can I kill it? I am looking to gain mana for you, so... Wait, no. Right now, because before the next map, I... It is a, pretty much really recommended you have a level 7 healer. Because that's when they learn a spell that will cure you of status ailments. Oh, that's right. They appear on the next, on the next map, don't they? Yeah. What, you, you, thought, you thought everything in that cutscene was just for show? Oh, no, 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 no. Stuff I talk about actually literally exists, so... Alright. And with that done, we have completed that stage. 
Now, before I go on to the next stage, I think Galaxia has killed quite a bit of uh, monsters and stuff. Let's check her stats. Or, or, or mana. Yes! Okay! So now we can do what I was wanting to do at the beginning of the video. Have her make something that will help teach her magic, which will be essential for her later on, considering she's not going to have a bow for all time. What I want is to make a red mage. Why red? Because... You learn fire, and fire magic is useful in the uh, frozen river. So, I'm gonna That's very much true. name her Din after the. Oh, oh, she's one of the goddesses in um, Legend of Zelda. Yes, that is true. Thank you. Now, yeah, mages are glass cannons, as I've said before. M even more glass cannon than the healer. Low HP and low defense, but they do a lot of magic damage. So, I'm going to just give her a tiny boost to her defense, and... Now, I don't think I've mentioned this before. I'll mention it right now. Uh... Let's see. Uh, nope. Oh, Galaxia actually learned her first skill with the arrow. But, no, you see how her pupil is Din? Uh, Din... When, uh... When your character is a, a pupil or a mentor... Uh, any spells like healing or uh, fire, ice, wind, any of those spells that uh, a pupil learns, the mentor can learn it from the pupil. I did not know that. That's a lie, I didn't know that. Yes, and... Uh, but they don't... As you can see, she doesn't have it right now, while uh, Din clearly does have the fire spell. So you can only use it while standing next to them, but if you... When you start using it as a character, it will start at level zero. But, as you level it up, and if you get it to level 1, your character will acquire that skill permanently. Unless, of course, for some reason, you lose mastery with it, which you can do when we get into another mechanic later. And it, if it falls back to level 0, you forget it. But enough about me go going on. That's pretty much all I wanted to... Actually, there's one more thing I will talk about. Uh, right now, I'm going to reorganize my party real quick. Okay, reorganize my party a bit. Going to equip some of these guys with actual stuff. Stuff, stuff! Alright, well, the thing I wanted to show... I know you guys are sick of it, but I'm going back to the tutorial map! No! Now... This is just going to be a quick demonstration. I'm going to show you guys how I often uh, grind for skills and such. So... First thing I do is have everybody on this screen get killed. I will everybody but one unit on the screen I kill. I will cut ahead to when I kill everybody but one. All right, I killed everybody but one enemy. Now, what you want to do is take a tanky character like Laharl here because he's so so far our tankiest character. And hold this enemy here. Now, every character that you want to learn a skill from Let's say I want to teach Galaxia Fire, which I actually, I really do. And it wouldn't hurt if I leveled up uh, Din's Fire a little. Uh, I, I, I inadvertently said Din's Fire without meaning to. Get your shot and put a thing there. I don't think there's much I could put for that. Just put a picture of Din and her fire. Or, actually no, it's the one of Zelda's attack. Just put Zelda doing Din's Fire attack. As you can see, Galaxia now has a thing for fire. So, I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna actually try to... Wait, you're gonna have them attack Laharl? Well, yeah! What if they kill Laharl? She won't. Watch. Oh, you're right. <laughs> 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 you, know, you were so worried about having Laharl killed. But it's gonna take more than that. And as you can see, I've also learned heal. So, it's actually a good idea for lots of your main characters to know healing spells. Unfortunately. Well, right now. But I'm going to go... Yeah, this is a good way to uh, grind for learning skills. Also, I need you to be able to pay no attention to the people you might hear in the background. What? There are no people in the background. I hear there are no people in the background! I hear voices! Well, that's just you. No, I don't. Yes, you do. 
yeah, so uh, you can see Lahal's constantly taking damage from this, but that's fine. This is a good way to grind. This is what I usually do when I want to grind for learning spells and such. So, yeah. It's an efficient way of doing it. And as we can see, Galaxia is one away from permanently learning fire. And now she's probably permanently learned it. And now I am going to permanently learn heal, which will be very nice. Actually, I don't think I need her out anymore. Oh, yes, she did. Okay. Bye. I don't want to learn. It's best that you leave, uh... Skills that uh, require high intellect to characters with high intellect. <laughs> well, whatever. I'm going to teach myself heal, and then I'm going to teach Laharl heal. Just by. I'll give it to some. I'll give it to. Who's flying the ship? <laughs> what the hell? I'll cut ahead to when we're done with this. <laughs> Such an idiot. Alright, finally learned heal. Now, as you can see, the reason why that took so long... Look at my staff mastery! Not that good, huh? But, once I... Once Laharl starts learning it... It was filled this much after just one usage. That's because he has a lot better staff mastery than me. Okay, no more talking, I will really cut ahead to when I'm done with this next time. Alright, Laharl has finally learned heal. So what am I gonna do now? Kill it like the rest! Wow, I was not expecting that to work. <laughs> Alright, and with that, next time on Disgaea Hour of Darkness, I will be uh, grinding up in the meantime, trying to get my healer to level 7 and maybe my other characters level up a bit. But we will continue our trek through the Frozen River and continue our pursuit after Flan. Laters! Adieu.